Hi everyone, my name is Juan Pablo and welcome again to another uh, YouTube video. In this time, I would like to show you an extension of the previous uh, video related to the import from default routing table. So this is an extension keyword that is called advertise as VPN. Um, as you saw in the previous or watched in the previous video, right? Um, this type of feature that really doesn't have any theory behind of or you know any big content behind of they are just shortcuts there are tricks keywords that we can use um, out there but believe me or not they are very very powerful so whenever you have a specific use case for example um, for uh, importing from the different routing table into the brf or um, any network problem related to to communicating between brfs and between default routing table and brf those shortcuts are very very useful if we know them obviously we will get to know how to use them right so that's why it's very very important to be aware of those features even though that they are very small they are shortcuts but they are very very useful in specific situation believe me i have been using both of them in previous past work experience and they save a lot of time and a lot of headaches as well. So I highly uh, recommend you to learn those shortcuts, those small keywords that doesn't have theory behind, but in the real life experience, in the day-to-day -day work um, is very useful. So that feature again is called Advertise as VPN. So that's an extension, for example, of, um, of the previous feature that we saw, right? So for example, if we focus on our network topology, I would like to show you how this feature works, right? So as I said, this feature is called Advertise as VPN. So that's the name of the feature. And this keyword, because it's a keyword, is inserted after the command that we saw in the previous video. So import from default. If you remember, we used this with the raw policy and the raw policy name, right? So this keyword advertise as VPN is basically included here. So here there is an extension that says advertise as VPN. And what it does? Well, as we saw in the previous video, right? So we had them uh, in P1, we are using the same network. So quickly I will explain what a network is composed. So this is again, a network I use for my bootcamps. So here we have INET ASVR. So this is basically the connection to internet to devices out there. Now this INET ASVR is holding those prefix that you see here, 888 and 888888, plus I am adding here a default route. So this INET is connected through uh, a link to the ASVR1. ASVR1 is part of the ISP James that is composed by P1, P2, and ASVR2, right? So um, INET ASVR basically is sending this default route Towards, um, towards the ASBR1. So ASBR1 received the default route from the INET ASBR. This link is not under BRF. This is in the default routing table, right? So INET ASBR1 has an IPv4 session with, uh, with the ASBR1 in, in ISP James. So they have an IPGP or EVGP session, sorry. And then the ASBR1 has an IVGP session with the raw vector locally to the ISP James. And this router propagates the default route that it received from the internet towards the router reflector. This default route is being propagated again over the IVGP session IPv4, right, to the router reflector. The router reflector obviously then has sessions with P1, P2, and P3. So our focus for the lab is basically P1 and P2. So router reflector received the default route from the ASBR1 and propagate this default route to PE1 and PE2, right? Over the VGP IPv4 session. We are talking now about only the default routing table, okay? So in the previous uh, video, we saw that P1 received a prefix over this default grow routing table, and this uh, router import this default route under the BRF green, right? So here we have a BRF green under this interface that goes to the customer side one, and in the previous YouTube video, we saw that P1 is importing this default route under the BRF green. And that's a previous feature that we saw, import from default uh, into the BRF. Now, what this extension does, 
advertise as VPN, which is our focus for this video. Well, what its extension does is that whenever we advertise or let's say import this this uh, default route under that BRF green, whenever we enable this keyword, that default route that is and resides under the BRF green is exported as a prefix in VPN, as a VPN prefix, basically, with all the data and the information of P1 that has configured under that BRF green. So basically it's exported as P1 has been advertising this prefix over the other session, okay? In my case, I have also a BGP session between P1 and P2. So this is a BGP VPN before session. And obviously P1 and P2 has with the raw reflector and raw reflector has with the other devices as well. So in this case, whenever P1 import that default route under the BRF screen, and then we configure the feature advertise as VPN, then P1 will advertise that prefix to the other peers that he has a, a neighborship with VPN before. And that's how P2 receive that default route over VPN before from P1. And then since in P2, for example, I am, for this example, I am using the BRF yellow here. So P2 has a connection with the customer side in the left side. And here you have the BRF yellow, right? This BRF yellow uh, basically is importing prefix that BRF green is exporting. So in BRF green, I have the route target export 100, 100. And in BRF yellow, I have the route target import 100, 100, right? So whenever we enable this feature, P1, again, receive the default route from the route reflector, it will import the default route from default to the BRF green with advertise VPN keyword P1 will export this prefix as a VPN before, and then P2, since this is importing the route targets from, from BRF green in the BRF yellow, then P2 will import that default route that received from P1 over that VPN before session, and it will import that default route under that BRF. And by that, P2 will have reachability over internet because it received the default route from P1, right? This is a very useful feature whenever we have um, type of ASBRs and some, some peering or subscriber connections um, out there. And then we would like to also provide some, some um, internet traffic or even whenever we have, for example, um, reachability to the internet, but we want to have a central point to do some security verification in that case, is very, very useful this feature because we can attract all the traffic to one center point, verify the security features and then send it out to the internet, right? So that's what the feature and functionality does. Let's, let's show you in a lab how this is really working. So for my lab, again, everything is built. Um, now P1 has this default route that received from the raw reflector, then P1 is importing that uh, route under the BRF green in my lab. I enable the keyword advertise as VPN. So P1 is sending this default route towards P2. P2 again has a BRF yellow here and he's importing the prefix from the BRF green. So P2 is importing the default route that P1 is exporting by using this feature. So if we go to the lab, um, basically, if we go to P1, P1 received the prefix, the default route, as you can see, from the ASBR1, right? Received the route from the ASBR1 in this case, so it's a 000, zero, zero and the next hop is ASBR1. So P1 received that prefix then under the BRF. I don't have the, the keyword import, but I will configure this one that import from the, from the default routing table into the BRF. So I need to do import from default routing table, route policy, the same route policy that I created before. Um, and then here is the keyword, advertise as VPN, right? So this is the configuration basically. So I have the BRF green, I import the default route from the default routing table into the BRF, and then I advertise as a VPN. Now I do commit. 
Then P2, if I check the, the VPN before session, P2 has a VPN before session between the raw reflector and towards P1 as well, right? So then P2 received the default route now from BRF green, and the next hop is PE1, right? Because P1 is advertising this prefix, this default route as a VPN prefix. So if I check now the BRF yellow and the prefix that I see there, then I see that I have the uh, default route here. And basically, uh, that's the benefit of that feature, right? Um, this is very useful, again, whenever you want to um, propagate prefix that you import from the default routing table to the other VPN peers, especially, specifically, for example, whenever you want to attract internet traffic and you want to have a central point. There is where this feature is very, very, very useful. OK? Well, that's, that's the small shortcut of those features. I highly recommend that you take a look. You never know when you will use it, and it's always uh, good to, to get to know them. So that was all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next video. Bye.